Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedient PC Audio Labs again. Today we're going to keep working on our video tutorials on Mixcraft 10 Pro Studio. And on today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to set up your interface to work on Mixcraft. So let's go ahead. I'm going to open the software. And once it loads, I'm going to go ahead and load. I'll load my guitar project. That's it. So uh, the interface, you need to make sure my recommendation is you make sure that you set up your interface properly before you start recording audio into your project. Okay. So how do you do that? Well, you go to file top left and you go to preferences. And when you open the preferences, you have on your left, you know, sound device, general display interface, blah, 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 blah. Right. So, where it says sound device, that's your audio hardware. That's what we're going to be focusing on today. So um, let's start with the driver. Depending on your interface, you're going to have either the core audio, ASIO or wave driver. My interface is the PreSonus uh, audio box 44 VSL and it comes with a core audio driver. So I'm going to leave that there. Now, you can select your default recording device, which is your input, and your playback device, which is your output. In my case, I have all these options. I'm going to select line ins 1 and 2 from the audio box. And then my playback device, which are the outputs, are going to be my line out 1 and 2. Okay? Now, you also have your core audio options. Here is where you... If you click on this little arrow, here's where you basically select your sample rate and your bit depth and whether it's mono or stereo. Right now, I have it set up to 48 kilohertz, 16 bit stereo. But if you want to do 48, 24, that's fine too. 48, 32 bit, that's fine too. Just make sure that you set this up before you start recording. So that way, all your audio files are the same or have the same sample rate and the same bit depth. Okay. You also have um, this option that says show input meters on ARM ANU. You can leave that on. Use high priority threads for audio engine. You can leave that on. And then you can press OK. And now your interface has been properly set. You're good to go. That's it for today, guys. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.